Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, I do appreciate you stopping by. Today's beer is a collaboration beer between Austin Street and Hoof Hearted Brewing. And the label looks like Hoof Hearted all the way, guys. They do these colorful, cartoonish type of labels. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, this is an IPA, 7.5%, uh, so, you know, close to being a double. Uh, don't have the IBUs on this one, and these guys are Austin Streets uh, in Maine, up in Maine. Uh, Hoof Hearted uh, does some uh, some tasty beers, guys. They are highly sought after. And this was sent to me by my brother Greg. Uh, he made uh, some trips up to Vermont and Maine and, and picked up a bunch of beers, and he sent me a bunch. So uh, thanks again, Greg. I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, the commercial description on this is fairly long, guys, and I'm going to read it, so bear with me here. It's probably a bunch of silly nonsense, uh, but you know, let's get on with it. It says, he was last seen this summer outside of Austin Street Brewery in Portland, Maine. With no known sighting since, some overwhelmingly fruity scent has become, has become nothing more than a lingering memory to those who nuzzled with this cuddly curiosity. Recently, however, there have been frequent reports of this stuff, man, bear, and marrying out. Like I said, a bunch of nonsense. Uh, first, he left the trail of a mosaic. Calypso hop soon followed. Then the big break. He was spotted a fire squatting over a large pile of Australian Vic Secret. By the time we arrived on the scene, there was nothing left but whole cone hops and multiple tufts of bear stuffing. What is he trying to tell us? Well, I think he's trying to tell you you're a bunch of silly butts. <laughs> tell us about the beer instead of some made-up garbage. So that's what they famous for doing, guys. Uh, uh, very whimsical beer company, Hoofhearted. Uh, in their labeling and in their description, I mean, they tell you a bunch of stuff you don't need to know. All right, uh, the note I got from uh, Greg on this says, uh, from Off Street IPA collaboration with Hoofhearted, Austin uh, Street's a very small brewery in Portland, Maine, but he's been impressed with what they produce. He bought it there on November the 2nd, and today is the 9th, so uh, about a week old. Pretty fresh. Fresher than I can get beers around here, no damn doubt about it. Uh, and like he said, there, there is no dating or anything on it. Uh, there was such a small brewery, uh, and everything probably is bought right there at the brewery. I doubt if they distribute anything, but they collaborated with a parted, so... Uh, don't know if it was actually done in Maine or if it was done at Hoof Hearted and it was shipped, shipped there. So, would like to see a date on this style of beer, but it is what it is, guys. Uh, so, we've got everything covered, I think. So, let me mark that off the sheet and let's get it on, guys. First beer of the day. I'm thirsty. How about you? Uh, big 16 ounce can, so we're not going to be able to get it all on the original pour here. But I will do it before I go off camera. We're going to pour this fairly aggressive here, guys. And uh, we'll swirl that around for the final pour. Uh, about a finger and a half head on that pour. Very, very cloudy. A very New England style looking beer. So uh, let's see what these two breweries have come up with on their collaboration. To the nose we go. Very nice aroma. Very, very nice. A serious hot profile and uh, I'm amazed a lot of times when I do these style of beer how much stuff they can cram in here as far as fruity notes grapefruit stands out right off the bat very citrusy pine hence a pineapple 
oranges and mangoes may even be some fleshy fruit like peaches in there got a little bit of a dankness to it smells absolutely awesome so let's dive in cheers everybody cheers Craig got a very nice grapefruit twang to it almost like an, an unsweetened grapefruit to me it's not too awful bitter it's done very well guys it's a uh, it works put it that way very very pleasant but that is very very good delicious i may i may add so well let's do the back end pour this thing is right out of the fridge guys uh gonna let it warm up like we always do and see where we end up didn't really change the appearance too much because we you know being a week old i don't think we got a whole lot of settling going on in the beer <laughs> their labels are just <clears throat> almost cartoonish uh kid like if you will but uh that's how they are that's how they roll guys so well let's step on this thing and come back and see where it ends up all right guys i'm back got a little left here awesome lacing effect on the glass uh very tasty beer guys in my uh humble opinion i would buy this beer if i could get it here if they put a date on it now i understand some of the breweries uh, brewery only releases they don't feel that's necessary but i do uh, I enjoyed this very nice beer. Thanks so much, Greg. It's a very tasty beer. Very, very pleasant, guys. All the flavors, aromas, and tastes are there for a New England style IPA. And with it being uh, seven and a half percent uh, it's into the uh, ABB scale where I would purchase it uh, not too thin not too watery just right uh, excellent beer in my humble opinion guys it's a 10 beer in a nine can because it has no date on it so that's where I'm gonna put it uh, I'm gonna give this uh, I'm gonna give it a 98 guys uh, it's pretty damn impressive and if it had a date on it it would get to 10 to 100 so with that being said Let's run over to Beer Advocate. They have it at 4.42 in their outstanding range, and I agree, it is an outstanding beer. Awesome numbers from those guys. And for our final check-in, we run over to Untapped. They have it at 4.21. Again, awesome numbers from those guys. Not quite as high as Beer Advocate's got it, uh, but still an A beer. So it's an A beer all the way around, guys. Uh, if you get a chance to get your hands on this, the collaboration effort between uh, Hoof Hearted and Austin Street, this is their Yan Bandana. Uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly, and I, if you like this style of beer, you probably will too. So if you've had it, let me know what you think. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.